first started working with ESP, it was before Killing With A Smile. So I'm going to say it has to be around the 2005 area. Been playing them for a long time now and this one's definitely a special one. My favourite, I guess, to be honest. It's my favourite guitar. I'm stoked you noticed that this is the original because this is the guitar that just totally sounds insanely good. This particular one, we've done quite a bit of recording with this particular guitar because this one, for some reason, just has the sound. Like, you know, it doesn't matter how many guitars you get made, they all have their own little soul, no matter what. This particular one has got a special soul to it. I tracked a lot of solos and leads with this thing on our last record. It's been an absolute workhorse. I used to watch all my favourite bands playing these guitars and it was unfathomable to me that I could ever end up being supported by such an influential and massive brand. EMGs, just the classic 80s metal sound that I fell in love with as a kid. For a pickup to dominate the market for this long, that's really impressive. I still rep them live. They've just got a really nice amount of control, like, you know, with even stuff like feedback and, you know, like some pickups are just far too hot for live. They just pick up on all the lights and all the sounds. So that's a really important factor as well, you know, with choosing what electronics you're going to roll with. One of the most important things about me committing to playing a guitar, particularly live, is you don't want to have anything too heavy on your back because, you know, I like to jump around and have fun on stage. Like, that's like my thing. That's how I connect. And, you know, these things are the perfect weight. They're not too heavy, they're not too light, and they're strong as hell. We've had the opportunity to try all the different brands of guitars when it comes to studio time and these things beat them all every time. They shoot them out all the time. You know, these things sound incredible and they can handle getting flogged in freight, coming over here on aeroplanes. Yeah, they're just really reliable. Honestly, like, that's simple. I don't have 20 different guitars that I swap three times throughout the set. For me, the focus is I have this really reliable guitar that I play predominantly through the set, and my goal is to connect with the crowd. I love connecting with the crowd, and if I have this amazing ESP with me that's not going to break on me all of a sudden, then I'm almost guaranteed to have an awesome show. So this is a builder's hammer. It should hardly ever need to be replaced.